Hey everybody, I'm Jason from Fuzzlord FX, and in this video, we're going to be checking out the Fuzzlord FX Drone Master pedal. We're gonna be talking about what the circuit was inspired by and some of its key features, and we're also going to hear what it sounds like. But instead of doing a normal sound demo, what we're gonna do is record a short drone metal song with my friend Eric Merrill, who does the filming and editing on this channel, playing bass. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure you stick around and watch this video. So if you're new to the Fuzzlord FX YouTube channel, we do gear demos, tech talks, and other music related videos made for people interested in heavy music. So be sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and why don't you leave me a comment and let me know where you're watching from. If you're wanting to keep up with me on a daily, be sure you check out the Fuzzlord FX Instagram page, at Fuzzlord FX, or check out fuzzlordfx.com to see what we have in stock right now. Or you can even check out the Fuzz Life podcast. Uh, before we get started in this video, just wanted to let you know that we have recently started a Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description. And it's a place where people can help support the channel so we can keep making these weekly videos. So we're gonna get started in just a moment on the video, but we wanted to do a quick thank you to all of our patrons who are helping support the channel. Let's get started on the Drone Master. So before we start playing music in this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what the Drone Master is, what it was inspired by, and some of the key features. The Drone Master pedal is a high gain distortion that was based off of the classic RAT pedal. It has a volume control, a tone control, and a gain control. The tone control has been updated so that it works the normal way now. So all the way up this way is gonna be all the treble. When we turn the tone control down that way, it's going to cut the treble and just allow bass through. The Drone Master features a couple toggles on it that really give you a wide variety of sounds that is not available in a classic rat pedal. So the right toggle chooses between different styles of clipping options. So down is gonna be silicon diodes, which is what is in a classic rat pedal. When you turn the switch up all the way, it utilizes red LEDs for clipping diodes, so it's gonna be louder, a little less compressed, and bass players often really like the way that the red LEDs sound for clipping. This run uses a three-way switch so that in the middle mode, we can disengage the clipping diodes altogether. So what that's gonna allow us to do is if you want to, you can roll the gain down a lot, and you can even use the Drone Master as a clean boost. Or you can max out the gain and really start getting hard clipping distortion from the actual op amp. It's a really cool sound. The left toggle controls the overall voicing or EQ of the pedal. Down is the stock rat EQ mode, which is just a normal rat sound. Up introduces a very recognizable filter from vintage super fuzz circuits. So it's very bass in mid heavy. It's a bit humped in the mid section and it really just opens up the sounds available in this pedal. One cool thing you can do with the Drone Master is you can turn it to the super fuzz filtering like mid heavy voicing and then set the clipping mode to no diodes keep the gain control low, and then basically what you're gonna get is that super fuzz, hyper fuzz style voicing in the pedal, and you can run different pedals into it. So you could run like a Fuzzlord FX Void Master, for example, to get your fuzz tone. Uh, basically you can use this box to turn other pedals into that super fuzz, hyper fuzz style sound. Currently, we're using an OP07 op amp instead of the LM308. Did a bunch of research on it and just decided that the OP07 op amp was more reliable and it had a bit more high end to it and clarity. If you want to make that decision for yourself and hear the difference between a 308 chip and an OP07 in a rat style circuit, head on over and check in with Steve Reese from the Does It Doom YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description. He does a great comparison between two rat pedals, one with a 308, one with the OP07. 
we decided that the OP07 sounded a bit better, so went with that chip for the 2020 line of Fuzzlord Drum Masters. Let's get started, set up, and we're gonna play some music now so you can hear what this pedal sounds like. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Again, I'm Jason Johnson from Fuzzlord Effects, and you can keep up with me on a daily on the Instagram page at Fuzzlord Effects. You can check out FuzzlordEffects.com to see what kind of t-shirts and pedals and other gear we have in stock. Or you can check out the Fuzz Life podcast if you want to listen to music related podcasts while you're driving around or working or working out or doing whatever you're doing. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and as always, leave me the answer to the weekly questions. So as always, want to know where you're watching from. I do want to know if you have any ideas for upcoming videos on this channel. So gear demos, tech talks, whatever that may be. And lastly, I want to know if you had the Drone Master pedal and this setup, what kind of guitar and guitar amp would you use to play? If you want to hear even more about the Drone Master pedal and hear more sound clips, you should check out the demo video that Steve Reese recently did on the Does It Doom YouTube page. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to that video. Also, again, big thank you to all of our patrons who have been supporting this channel on our Patreon page. I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you are interested in checking that out. But again, thank you to everyone that's helping support the channel. We're running their names at the beginning and the end of the videos now to just really say thank you because 
I really appreciate all the support. That way we can keep uh, making all of these weekly videos because I have a lot of fun doing them. Until next week, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I look forward to talking to you soon.